Good morning. Let's try to understand the events of our time with common sense and not get taken in by popular misunderstandings. Good morning everyone, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College and this is the 24th of March and we're reading in Luke chapter 13. Have you ever looked at the events of our day and scratched your head? Have you ever wondered whether those that have died deserved it? Well that's very common. In Luke chapter 13 we read that there were present at that season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices and Jesus answering said unto them suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things I tell you no unless you repent you shall all likewise perish we all have misunderstandings Christ discovered that there were certain people present who had told him that Pilate had slaughtered some Galileans while they were in the temple offering sacrifices. And the Lord says, do you think that these Galileans were greater sinners than anyone else because they suffered like that? I tell you, unless you as a nation repent and turn back to the, your covenant God, you will all perish like those Galileans did. What Christ is saying is that one day there's going to come a time when the Romans will move upon Israel, bringing about a great slaughter. And it will be a judgment of God on a nation that has forsaken their God. And of course, in AD 70, the Roman legions came and 1,100,000 perished. So Christ is saying, these Galileans were no worse than you. And you too will perish. You will lose your lives too, unless you repent. Unless you repent. That's a serious thing. He's not telling them to become Christians. He's talking to them as a nation. And he's saying, repent. Come back to your covenant God. That is to think again. To have an afterthought. To turn back to your God. To be washed and to worship the Lord your God again. Was it possible for the nation to repent? Yes, of course it was. They didn't, but it was always possible, and especially during the ministry of the apostles. Now, we're not in the same position as old Israel today. We Christians are saved by grace and not on the basis of the old Mosaic covenant of law. But we can look on and we can wonder at the mighty works of God. God bless you all. Look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. God willing, join us at the Home Bible College. Find us on Facebook community and Facebook page, on YouTube and on Google blogs. God bless you. Bye for now.